Hey folks, it's uh, Super Mr. O'Neill here, and I'm doing this get to know a comic book nerd tag thing. Um, I saw Cosmo Bosco 771 do it, and uh, he kind of was just like, fucking just do it. So I figured, hey, why not? Uh, and yes, please don't point out the fact that I shaved. I know I look like a fucking 12 year old again, but whatever. So, um, basically for those who are unaware, it's this tag thing that's going around the YouTube comic community. Basically, you know, it's, it's like 10 questions of you telling you about, telling the viewers about yourself and all that. So I figured, hey, I'd do it. Um, so the first one is my name. My name is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Um, and obviously my last name is O'Neill because I don't think I would make my fucking, uh, YouTube name Super Mr. O'Neill if my last name wasn't O'Neill, or unless I was a raging, uh, Shaq fan or something. Um, yeah, my name is Colin O'Neill. You know, you can't get any more Irish unless you add Guinness, McFlanagan, Jameson, Kilkenny to it or something. Um, what... How did you start collecting comics? Okay, so this is a long story. Um, basically, when I was a kid, when I was really young, kid, I'm, I'm still a kid, I'm only 21 for fuck's sakes. Um, my grandmother would take me, whenever I would go to PEI, Prince Edward Island, um, my grandmother would take me to comic stores around Charlottetown, in and out of Charlottetown. Places like the Comic Hunter and... Fuck, I forget the name of the other place, but it's still there, I know that. It's in, like, a basement, and it's a really nice store. But, um... Basically, like, I would get a lot of Marvel shit when I was a kid. It, it's funny now, because I'm more of a DC guy. Like, even though the books going on DC now are pretty well shit, for the most part. Uh, growing up, like, I... I don't know what it was, it's just Marvel was the thing for me. So here's a shit ton of books I got when I was a kid. I even got the first two issues of the Biker Mice from Mars. I don't remember these. Ninja Turtle ripoffs. Yeah. Um, first three I really remember are these ones. Uh, these are the JMS Spidey comics uh, from the early 2000s. There's the Nuff Set issue. Um, and I really remember getting this to the... Um, the uh, Todd McFarlane Torment Spider-Man comics. I was, I was big on Spider-Man as a kid, even though now I'm I'm not so much. I kind of grew out of Spider-Man. I, I don't really care for Peter Parker as a character, but, you know, that's just me. But when I was a kid, I didn't really buy them to read them. I bought them really to look at the pictures. And then also, when you're a kid, you have the cartoons and stuff like that. Like, I watched the Spider-Man cartoon of the 90s all the time. Static Shock, I remember watching, because that was, that was pretty cool. I was trying to find, like, all these weird superheroes. I don't know what it was, but, yeah. So, it it wasn't really until 2009, 2010, 2009, that I really got into reading them. Um, and that was due to, in part, the Watchmen movie. Uh, I remember specifically, when the movie was out, it was out in March of... It was either 09 or 2010, I can't remember. And, um, I was on March break, um, and my mom took me in the mall because I really wanted to buy the game. I think it was Left for Dead. Uh, but it was sold out throughout the island, and I couldn't get a copy anywhere. And so we're in the mall there, just looking around, and I go into the bookstore, and I see they have copies of Watchmen up there. And so I was like, hey, Ma, can I get that instead? And she's like, really? Because I never really read much as a kid. Uh, I just didn't have the attention span for it, and plus, I would just go outside all the time. Like, me and my friends would always go outside, and plus there was also video games, too, whenever I was inside, so. Um, so yeah, Watchmen was really the book that got me in, into, com or back into comics, and really got me hooked on reading them. And then, I'll say, like, Watchmen got me into it, but, uh, Sandman by Neil Gaiman was really the one that, like, solidified me staying. Um, I think it was maybe, it was either that summer or the next summer I was in PEI and, uh, going to the Comic Hunter there, I bought the first trade of the Sandman. I bought, like, the first three trades of it, and then I just fucking sped through them. They were, like, crack to me, man. 
Um, like most kids grew up with like Harry Potter and all that stuff and, you know, series of unfortunate events. I grew up with Sandman, basically. That was like the first series that I got into. Um, next question. What were the first comics you started collecting? Well, there you go. Um, to add to it, after Watchmen, I got like, I think the comic that I got right after Watchmen was The Killing Joke. Uh... I'm trying to think what else I got afterwards in like my early comic. I'm I'm looking at my shelf. V for Vendetta came a little bit later. Um, I think Ronin by Frank Miller was kind of an earlyish one. I didn't get. I know I didn't get uh, Dark Knight Returns till a few summers later. Uh, I was kind of late to the game with that. Um. Yeah, like, pretty much any Alan Moore. Like, I was I was a really big Alan Moore guy when I started. Um, now I'm kind of like, you know, n not everything by him that glitters is gold, I, I suppose. But um, lots of Alan Moore, you know, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Um, I didn't get From Hell till like, grade 11, I think. Yeah, because I got... Yeah, because I got it on that trip. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I was I was very much a trade person when I started. And that's due to, in part, um, basically there were no comic stores around. Uh, now there is, luckily. Uh, there was a comic store when I was growing up, but that closed. And then, basically, uh, I was just relegated to, like, ordering books, uh, getting books from the bookstore or ordering them from Amazon Although Amazon didn't come later for me and all that stuff, so yeah. Um, four, favorite TV show or cartoon? Well, there goes Batman. <laughs> um, kind of a two-part thing. My favorite TV show has to be Breaking Bad. This is the, uh, the box set of the entire series. It's in an oil drum and, uh... Sec, let me see if I can get this off. Ooh. Uh, like, there's, like, the documentary, and it comes with, like, little things and money, and it comes with this, like, medallion and shit, and, uh... Yeah, Breaking Bad is my favorite. Absolutely. I'm so sad that it's not on the air anymore. Um, I just... You know, Breaking Bad is just a brilliant fucking show that played it close to the chest, and I remember... Um, at my grandfather's place, they have AMC. We have AMC here now, but, uh, but during, like, the, f the second part of the final season, I would go over on Sundays to watch the new episode, and it just, every episode, I was like, holy fuck, you know? But, uh, yeah, Breaking Bad, definitely. Um, Adventure Time is, without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite cartoon. Like, um, Adventure Time is just great. Uh, shows I've been watching now, I've been watching Orange is the New Black religiously, uh, House of Cards, I finished the second season for that not too long ago, and that's really, really good. Um, I tried getting into Thrones, I'm still on the first season. Uh, it's one of those things, I think I would get into it better if I had the Blu-rays, but instead I'm watching it through illicit means. So, yeah, and we don't have HBO here in, in my house because it's way too fucking expensive and it's just a rip-off, so. Um, also, like, Misfits and the IT crowd or the IT crowd, whatever they call it. Um, do you have any pets? I used to have cats. Both of them died. Uh, the first cat we had, its name was Peanut. We both got them from the from an animal shelter, so we didn't name them. Uh, Peanut got diabetes, and we had to put her down, and then we got a second cat, Pringles, and Pringles was just really hyperactive, and we tried to make him a house cat, but that wasn't happening, so we just let him go out and blow off steam, uh, and then Pringles got hit by a car, sadly. Um, where do you live? I clearly live in France. But, um, but seriously, I, I live in Canada, uh, proud Canadian, uh, I live in a province called Nova Scotia, more specifically, I live on an island called Cape Breton, 
Uh, Kate Beaton is from my island. She's from the other part. She's from the other side of it. She's from Mabu. I'm from Glace Bay, which is like as far east as you can go in Nova Scotia, um, just before Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, yeah, I live in this part of Canada that no one's ever heard of. Um, what cereal do you like? It's kind of a random one. Uh, I don't eat much cereal. Uh, when I do, I eat it dry because I'm fucking weird like that. I don't like white milk. Um, Special K, like vanilla almond or whatever the fuck. Like, that's, that, that's some pretty tight shit, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, your birthday month, November. November the 30th. 92, so I'm 21 going on 22. Yeah. Um, do you have any phobias? Um, I'm afraid, uh, I, I'm, I fucking hate snakes. I am deathly afraid of snakes. Snakes scare the fucking shit out of me, man. Ugh, they're, they're just so, ugh. And I pet a snake once. I went to this, like, little, like, fair thing, and they had, like, a reptile thing on the go and uh <laughs> there was this lady there and she had like a bunch of piercings and she was actually really f fucking hot <laughs> too uh and she had a snake there and, I, and she could tell like i was kind of like scared to touch it and she's just like sweetie i will bite you before he does and i'm like okay like yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, snakes, I'm afraid of the ocean, which is kind of ironic because I live on a fucking island surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. So yeah, the ocean is fucking crazy. Like, we, we know more about what's in space than we do at some of the fucking lowest depths of the ocean. So fuck that shit. Yeah. Also loneliness. Loneliness is kind of fucking scary. So, yeah. And, uh, the final one, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Um, my YouTube name is kind of a bit of a story. Obviously, I'm a Superman fan, so Super O'Neill, O'Neill being my last name, yeah. But, uh, I used to make videos with my friends back in the day, don't look for them. We took them off, because they were stupid and offensive and just, yeah, they were fucking stupid. And, uh, basically, uh, my friend made his as Mr. and his surname. And so I was like, okay, I'll keep up with the theme of him. And so Mr. O'Neill was taken. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just call it Mr. Uh, one of the suggestions came up, Super Mr. O'Neill. So I was like, okay, that's cool. I can do that. Um, and, and that kind of helped me with, you know, the whole comic book thing, even though I'm kind of here, there with my videos, I don't have a set schedule because I, I'm just lazy, <laughs> plain and fucking simple. Um, so yeah, that's the final question and, uh, that's it. Yay. So I'm not going to tag anyone to do this. Uh, if anyone wants to do this, I guess, who should I tag? Who should I tag? Fuck off Google plus. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll tag Ghost Critic. I'm sure a lot of people will. Uh, because he's like probably the most popular of all of us. I'll tag, um, who else am I gonna tag? Uh,. I'll tag Gambit, 896, um, and I'll tag, uh, BA Comics, Ben, uh, yeah, I'll tag those guys, and if I didn't tag you, just fucking do it, <laughs> just, just give her, um, so yeah, that's that, uh, hope you enjoyed, I got a little haul in the last little while there, I bought a few books, um, buying trades this summer for me has been kind of slow, except for when I went to Toronto those two times. After that, I just didn't have the money to, to spend on, like, trades and all that shit. 
but now I, I got a few good paychecks coming up because I actually got decent hours and I might be getting a new job. So uh, it's looking like I'm going to be buying some more books. I think definitely next week I'm going to be ordering some stuff off Amazon. So uh, look forward to that. I'm definitely going to be doing like a, a little haul video for that. And I might be doing like a discussion video about something. Uh, I might do something about Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con, even though it's way past now. But I had a lot of thoughts about it and I filmed it one day, but I deleted it. Um, because I think I could do a better one. So, uh, so yeah, and also, as a reminder, I do have my review blog on Tumblr. Link is down below. Please subscribe. Um, so yeah, that'll be all. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys do this video. And, uh, yeah. Read good comics. Boom. I'm out. Peace.